Courtney, MD, director of the Courtney Medical Group, located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray, Pennsylvania. For more information or to make an appointment, call 724-942-3002. That's 724-942-3002 for Dennis J. Courtney, MD. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to AIM Impact on Your Health. AIM Impact on Your Health, where every day our goal is to have you learn at least one thing to help you live better and longer. AIM Impact on Your Health, heard each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney, and I'm with you each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9. AIM Impact on Your Health, where each day you'll find current medical news, knowledgeable guests, and fascinating health topics. And of course, where we do encourage you to call in to join in today, uh, we're revisiting our good friend, Dr. Roland Thomas. Are you taking too many supplements? Um, boy, I'm the guy who's seen this come in many, many times. I call them the shopping bag brigade. I know I'm in trouble when my office door opens. And a patient walks in carrying a shopping bag in each hand. And when I see it, I know exactly what I'm up against. Anyway, how about you? Are you taking too many supplements? Is there a way to cut down on those supplements? We're going to be talking about that very topic today with Dr. Roland Thomas, naturopathic physician and associate and compadre of a gentleman who has come to know and respect, Dr. Michael Kiriak. The company is called BioAge. Uh, there is a remarkable set of substances called BAC. Stands for bio, uh, Bioengineered Algae Concentrates. We're going to be talking about them today with Roland. Now, in the course of our discussions with Dr. Thomas, you want to call in to ask a question or to make a comment. That number will be 412 825 6262. That's 412 825 6262. Dr. Roland Thomas from the company BioH our guest today. Now, uh, taking a look at calendar events. Uh, it was enjoyable, by the way, I hope all of you fathers out there had a wonderful Father's Day. I know I did. Uh, and, um, well, uh, the weather was it was cooperative, I guess. Uh, it could have been a little better, but nonetheless, uh, weather went, went fine. Uh, and it was sure great to spend the day with my guys. And I hope you uh, spent it with your guys and gals and anybody else. Uh, that uh, made your day as special as mine was. In the evening, of course, I had to do a radio show with Dr. Ed Kondrat. Uh I'm going to mention radio show. I think it, uh, I think it'll turn out to be a very good show that you're going to want to get either a copy of or, as Ed is now doing, when I do these radio shows with Dr. Edward Kondrat, he then takes, and I think it's great, uh, and sends off the recording to somebody who types it up and makes a um, picked up copy of the show. And I'll tell you, the last two shows we've done, and last night in particular, uh, the old conversation of um, cardiovascular disease came up and the uh, all those lab tests and the four prongs of attack. And I think uh, as far as shows go, it had been a long time since I discussed it in this context with literally anybody, uh, I think that uh, you may want to get a copy of that transcript. You can do so by contacting uh, his office and he promises to send you one uh, and uh, I'm going to come up with that number here in just a second uh, hold on where are you uh, anyway we uh, we did that show and um, the oh, here it is here's the number one says 1-800-430-9328 one 9328 uh, you can listen to the, this show, to his show, um, by going to um, uh, his website, healthyvision.com. You can also go to kfnx1100.com, uh, where uh, by clicking on his show, all of his previous shows are also found. Uh, I just would recommend it to you. It was a great, great show. It was an enjoyable time. And uh, looking forward, by the way, out there to help him with another treatment seminar. There are a couple slots open this week in Phoenix, Arizona. It looks like the gentleman, um, Dr. Condra, travels all over the country now doing these treatment seminars. 
the one he's holding this month is right there in his now new hometown of Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, and at last count, seven slots of the ten were taken. If you do have a visual issue, a visual problem, a malfunction, one that isn't getting better with any conventional therapy, and you've been intrigued by uh, many of the discussions we've had here on the show, you may want to give that... Uh, that phone number that I gave you, another call, 1-800-430-9328. Question them about the current slots that are open for next week's seminar, treatment seminar in Phoenix, Arizona. I pass that on to you. Now, other things as they're coming up here, we're going to, of course, have uh, uh, on Wednesday, Jesse Canone with us. Jesse's going to be talking about six, a six-step back pain rescue plan. I'll be all ears for that. Uh, there'll be some repeat shows coming up. I'm waiting to get I'm getting some emails from you folks talking about some of the shows you might want to have repeated. Um, as I do some conferencing here at the end of the month, that being the case, therefore, I want to uh, uh, have you uh, even today give us a call and tell us which show you might like repeating. I'll be coming up with that schedule by the close of, of, of work on the Wednesday. Uh, we'll be moving into the month of July here real soon, folks. And as we come back from that 4th of July weekend, Susan Smith-Jones, the now new Dr. Vava Vavum, will be with us talking about natural remedies, the ones that she uses, the ones were passed down by her grandmother. Must have had one heck of an influence on this young lady. Anyway, Susan Smith-Jones, our guest on the 6th. On the 8th, Get Ready to Salt Your Way to Health, or at least that's the way the book written by Dr. David Brownstein describes it. Uh, not the Morton's way. We're talking about some other better ways to salt your way to health, but that you should uh, uh, not be frightened by uh, what has turned into a salt scare generation. Um, and I think the message will come across loud and clear. On the 11th, Lee Waller's with us talking about how to sustain weight loss. The yo-yo effect, up and down, roller coaster effect of weight, which everyone with weight issues has undergone. What can be done to stabilize that? To make, once you hit your goal, how do you keep it there? Well, I have many questions were for Lee Waller, who supposedly is loaded with his advice in that realm. And then on the 13th of July, Alan uh, Ridgeway will be our guest, talking about a new product, launching a new product. I'm getting you ready for it called Simply Freeze. It evidently is akin to as good, if not better than, a product called BioFreeze. Those of you who have muscle aches and pains, joint discomforts, uh, and you do get some relief from topical applications of, of products like this, will like hearing about Simply Freeze because I'm told the cost of this is much less than any other product on the market. That's the way things are shaping up at this time. Uh, in the news... Uh, this one, whenever I see stuff about x-ray exposure finally making to the news, uh, it always catches my eye, and I'll always bring it to you because I feel so strongly about it. Get a load of this one. This is literally out of yesterday's Tribune Review. And um goes to the, this issue of the uh, getting two for one. By the way, not for the price of one, two for the price of two, but I'm really... Um, uh, probably maybe laying a new um, medical fact on you that if you get CT scans, uh, which are quite common, and may absolutely have a medical indication for getting them. And so let's just for the moment not even get into whether you should or you should have a CT scan. Even now that we're in the, the realm of the MRI, which I think needs to supplant the CT scan. But I'll say this. So when you get a CT scan, do you know you actually get two and you don't get one? And that your X-ray exposure to the harmful effects of ionizing radiation are double-fold? You do get two scans. We in medicine like to call them with and without. It's sort of interesting that the with or the without uh, in the uh, non-medical world means, well, I'll take that uh, hamburger without the fries, the with or the without. This here, uh, with, we're, talk we're talking about the um, CT scans that are ordered by your doctor, is with or without 
enhancement. And all that means is that they do a regular CT scan, CT scans being one of the most highest um, uh, accumulation of ionizing energy known to man, because each slice, and literally these are slices made transsexually throughout the body, each slice is one additional x-ray exposure. So I've seen CT scans, CT scans where there's 20, 30, 40, and 50 slices being made. Each, of course, every one, each and every one of those uh, slices uh, had accompanying with it an equal amount of ionizing energy. What you don't understand is, once the first study is done, then they inject a radioactive dye, and they commence to do it all again. That's called with enhancement. Now, here's what's appeared in the TURB review. I hope that I can bring more information to you on this subject. But the byline goes something like this. A double CT chest scan exposes patients to radiation and then comma hikes cost. Hundreds of hospitals, they say, are routinely performing a type of chest scan that experts say should be used rarely. Subjecting patients to double doses of radiation and driving up health costs. Now, I will say that from that point on in the article, there's never a single mention from that point on about the harmful effects of the radiation. This thing takes off into talking about the cost. That's what's bringing it to the attention of everybody. And they say Medicare doesn't penalize any doctor for the double billing, and they should. So says the article. So the whole basis behind the article is an expense issue certainly legitimate, but I think the far more legitimate issue is the x-ray exposure issue, and uh, this is sort of the swept under the rug after such a byline. Anyway, it's now in the news. Hopefully, we'll hear more about it. I promise to bring you more on the subject. Uh, just had to bring it to your attention today, having seen it just in yesterday's Tribune review. If it hit the Trib, it's in all the mass media today. You look for it. You'll find it. And let's see if any more uh, information is passed on to you about the harmful effects of the radiation as opposed to the Medicare double billing, which took top billing in the article that I read in the trip. We'll let it go at that. All right, folks, uh, let's take a short break. And in the interim, uh, we're going to dial up our good friend, uh, Dr. Roland Thomas, who represents a company called BioAge. Are you taking... Too many supplements. The shopping bag brigade. Oh, my goodness gracious. We'll talk about them in a moment. See you then. This is Dennis J. Courtney, MD. Do you become confused about how best to manage your health? It's no wonder. It seems that every time you turn on the television or radio, another expert has yet another suggestion for you to follow it seems to be reasonable enough, but no matter how dutifully you follow the instructions, it just doesn't quite produce the results that you were looking for. If this confusion sounds familiar to you, give us a call at the Center for Complementary Health, where we'll make some sense of the confusion based on a blending of traditional and alternative medicine that we've been perfecting over the last seven years. We offer metabolic nutrition testing, immune system repair, natural hormone replacement therapy, chelation therapy, cutting-edge allergy correction, and a host of other safe and effective alternative therapies. Dennis J. Courtney, M.D., is located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray, phone 724-942-3002. Want to help your family be healthier? Instead of learning to disguise tofu with wondrous way, how about some real nutritional power? If your family has the typical American palate for fries, pizza, and burgers, giving your family the blessing of good nutrition is a struggle. Through the spirit, it's the answer for your family's nutritional needs. Fruit of the Spirit is an all-natural, whole fruit puree made from fresh fruits native to the Holy Land with alkalizing minerals. Fruit of the Spirit was five years in the formulation the work of a team of top nutritional experts with independent science to confirm its antioxidant power. One ounce a day provides the equivalent of five servings of fruits and minerals. Fruit of the Spirit is convenient, affordable, and delicious. Even your picky family will sing the praises of Fruit of the Spirit. Keep your loved ones the blessing of good nutrition. Call one 800 442 7934 special promotional offer. Fruit of Spirit, a blessing for your good health. That's 
800-442-3793. Call them now, 1-800-442-3793. Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to AIM Impact on Your Health. Heard here on KHB 620 each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney with you on a Monday morning version of the show. And in anticipation of our guest today, um, who has been with us so many times, but uh, uh, the story he tells, uh, the medical information that spills off of that story, the great potential to be able to take charge of your own health issues, uh, I believe, uh, with this, these products and this company uh, is so unique that the story does need to be retold. How better a storyteller than the gentleman who originally brought it to us anyway, uh, in its collaboration with a brilliant gentleman by the name of Dr. Michael Kiriak. Dr. Roland Thomas leads the company, BioAge, today. We're going to be talking about, um, are you taking too many supplements? We'll hear from the man right now. Let's say good morning and welcoming him back. Welcome back, Dr. Roland Thomas. Thanks for allowing us to invade your morning once again. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be with you on a, a glorious summer day here. Well, you said you've been a little soggy up there in that uh, area of Canada. We uh, haven't gotten such and such amounts of rain, but uh, you did tell me the garden has responded, and so... The rain has ended, and you got a smile on your face now, correct? Yes. Now, uh, Roland, the um, this uh, company, this 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 production of something called a back, a bioengineered algae concentrate, has such a compelling and interesting story that, I mean, I can't really ever hear the story enough, and there are always new listeners anyway. So, could you please, and only the way that you can, try to sum up this uh, bioengineered algae concentrate and how it comes to us and the brilliance behind it and the uh, just the, the fascinating story of how unique a substance this really is and from a health point, how there is no equal. Could you do that for us? Well, that's a, that's a, a mandate. That is a tall, yeah, a tall request, but I know you I can do it. Do that. Yeah. In the 70s, and I'll be brief, the Soviet Union was suffering from uh, uh, epidemic of cancer and low productivity in their livestock industry because they had, like we've done somewhat in America, regrouped all the small farms into these large, massive government uh, facilities uh, with you know, poor hygiene and, and poor nutrition. You can't really do well on these types of, of environments, corn fed and, and so forth. And um, young Dr. Michael Kiriak, who um, graduated uh, with a degree in biology and cellular nutrition, had touched on during his studies on the realm of algae, such as chlorella and or spirulina or blue-green algae, which are quite popular in Norway days. But that really pushed the envelope, had focused on studying those, and had had enough results that he was uh, supported by the Academy of Science, where he had completed his study, uh, to conduct broader research, uh, continuing with the algae that he had pushed on. And over the next 15 years, pushed the envelope, he looked at over hundreds of different algae, actually more than a thousand algae, of all of the 60, 70,000 types of algae existing on Earth, narrow it down to four, very specifically selected for their uh, ability to, uh, to combine well, just like a, a good meal, a good salad, uh, in terms of balance, obtaining a broader nutrient spectrum. Over 5,000 nutrients occur in these four microalgae, as well as in balance, so not in a uh, unbalanced fashion. In other words, if you have only a protein uh, you know, to have too much protein, you, you need the vitamins, you need the carotenoid, the antioxidant, the, the chlorophyll, you need the, 
any trace elements, minerals, assimilate a food properly. Yet these four algae are the microalgae types. So to, to bring it down to the reality, one uh, portion of food is invisible to the eye. That's what al microalgae are. Yet, as small as it is, ounce per ounce, there is more nutrients than any other food on Earth. Uh, it's packed, jammed, dense. Hence, uh, they were coined bioalgae concentrates. Both concentrates because they're packed, jammed, and there's no uh, loss or fiber or waste within the food, but also because the way they had learned, they had invented ways to grow them, to nurture them better than in, uh, in the wild, because most algae grown in wilderness or even in man-made lagoon are subject to pollution. The sun, even, uh, even burnt by the sun, or no way days you've got uh, not only mercury, but you've got all kinds of residues in our ocean you know, late, even radioactivity, uh, plumes all over the world. So these algae are sensitive, they're micro. So they develop ways to grow them in protected hydroponic uh, reactors, as well as ways to use subterranean uh, thermal hot springs from volcanic regions to uh, develop a product that had extraordinary properties as it were the likes of uh, maybe medicinal property as compared to standard food, yet they're still a food. And a particular property, uh, which was demonstrated and proven in very large studies amounting to using more than one million animals over the 15 years, they showed that it was able to uh, support the body. It would have, it have put the, ma the magic or the medicine where it sat to support the body uh, of the livestock that were tested in preventing cancer, which was one of the goals of the objective of the research. But subsequently, they discovered that not only did it prevent, uh, but it also remissed uh, some cancers, but also many other conditions typical to uh, the many species tested. A cardiovascular problem, for example, in hog, which we human can relate to, or uh, sugar, a hypoglycemic problem, or endocrine or glandular problem in small in cow, or osteoporosis in both uh, dairy cows and chicken. Those two species particularly are pushed to the limit uh, on a daily basis to give their milk or eggs every day, and so they have to continue lactating or laying eggs every day. And after a few years, uh, both these species suffer from bone loss. They lose their calcium. They lose the calcium to giving the milk or to the, to the egg, to the eggshell particularly. And are typically, uh, unbeknownst to all of us, they're slaughtered early in their life for, for meat, as opposed to when given this bioalgae concentrate, this back formula, they were able to continue uh, lactating or giving milk and cow for five more years in the case of the dairy cows, as well as in the case of the, the uh, poultry, for an additional uh, six, seven months of egg laying. So these are extraordinary uh, results. And as well, um, they discover other uh, uh, increase in health as opposed to just preventing disease. For example, laying more eggs per year and giving more milk as much as three gallons more per day. So that's, uh, uh, in essence, a summary of the research. I wrote a book about it, which, as you know, we are willingly either sharing with your listeners for free, and they can download it from the web, or if they request a copy, we could forward them a copy. And we have copies right here in the office, too. Wonderful. And don't run out. If you're running out, uh, we'll send you some more. Absolutely. So, Dr. Michael Kiriak, uh, a Soviet scientist, gets commissioned to try to solve livestock problems, and he focuses on the nutritional intake of these animals 
comes up with what he believes to be the finest form of nutrition that could potentially be available. And by utilizing that form of nutrition, all sorts of great things happen to these species heretofore. Diseases that are present are remiss, I believe you used the word. Diseases that aren't present never really materialize. And then the output and the harvesting of these animals in, in terms of their ability to produce is taken to levels heretofore not seen. Now, that's amazing all into itself. It certainly bespeaks of the brilliance of this gentleman, Dr. Michael Kiriak. Um, but these, of course, are uh, livestock and animal applications. Um, tell us about the transitions made to the human species and how Dr. Michael Kiriak's work ultimately came to bear upon a group of human individuals who were in dire need of help. Uh, yes, I think we're alluding to the Chernobyl incident. The Chernobyl incident, 1986. The disaster, the terrible human disaster, uh, whereby Dr. Kiriak at that time had already been over 10 years in the study, had achieved enough demonstration of prevention of cancer. He was known a little bit in the circles, in the scientific circles. Mostly on the animal side, he was uh, at that time assigned now to the uh, Ministry of Agriculture. Um, but his inclination, his desire was to eventually pass on this uh, powerful uh, food for humans. That was his passion, his dream, because of his personal life drama. As you know, he had lost several members of his immediate family to pancreatic cancer, and that was one of his early motivation as a teen, as a teenager, to get involved in, in research and science. So they, they allowed him to, uh, in essence, test and trial his uh, blend, his formula, with dying patients. There were so many people that were scheduled to die after the explosion. Uh, that there was no medicine, nothing can be done, and, and children, many children were sent out to various remote hospitals or camps. Uh, there was not a lot of room to house. There were so many people affected. So he had the opportunity to try his formula on several hundred people over the year following the incident. And, and really continuing to this day, he's been assisting some of the victims uh, resulting from the effect. But immediately uh, during that year, there were cases that were, were very advanced in degeneration from radiation ill. Uh, as you've seen, many of you have seen the, the pictures of children with no hair, with uh, eyes pushing out of their sockets, um, and, and much more horrific situation than that. So he was able to see progress, and, and some people coming back help from consuming these algae over periods of weeks. They were seeing the radioactivity level in the urine diminish by 50 percent, the leukemia, leukemia levels uh, redressed in six weeks and the like. And in many of the victims, let's say, it was not all of them. It was those that had still some resilience and that mostly the children were better at recovering than some of the adults. So that was the experience there with humans. Other than that, since then, he uh, has been promoting the bioalgae with human first in Europe, starting in, in, in Moldova, home country, after it separated from Russia in 1990. And then he moved on to Canada in 1996, where he was able to uh, get back on his feet after a couple of years and he relaunched the production and the distribution of the product as a human dietary supplement, which is today um, he has reached a point where it's certified by Health Canada as a dietary supplement in the natural product uh, section. And uh, in the United States, we now uh, have been bringing it in the United States for 10 years. We promote it. Uh, as bio superfood, a dietary supplement. 
that is the story, is it not? And it is um, uh, one that I can't tell you how many times now I think I've heard it, but each and every time I hear it, I get to hear a new fact, that thing about the uh, about the uh, uh, chickens laying eggs for six more. I never heard that, uh, that, oh, that one before. And uh, the cows uh, uh, being able to give milk for so much longer period of time. Never heard that before. So I'm going to keep, every time we meet, Roland, I'm going to ask you to tell the story again because over time I think I'll get all the facts pretty soon, okay? But I thank you for the new new facts today. The story is fascinating. The gentleman, this genius, this this uh, absolute scientific wonder, Dr. Michael Kiriak, uh, we were so we were really lucky last time we had him on the show. We're going to bring him back. I know uh, we'll bring him back soon uh, because I was enthralled with the gentleman, and uh, his English is getting better. I will say that he he did a, he did a great job. Yes, he did. Well, we'll be uh, he'll be even more prepared next time. All right, so. Here we go. We have this wonderful product, and um, I will say that a, uh, a use of this product has now emerged. The byline for our little meeting today is, are you taking too many supplements? And um, this is an interesting thing to bring up to listeners of mine, because my listeners are the supplement takers. My listeners are those people who have decided that nutrition and correcting deficiencies is the way to health. And I have a bone to pick with you, Roland Thomas. Okay, not maybe with you directly, but I say that there are a number of patients that I end up meeting for the first time, and I call them members of the shopping bag brigade. And what I mean by that is they come into my office, the door opens, and I see a patient walk in, and in their hands, in each hand, is a shopping bag. And when I see it, I know that these shopping bags are literally filled with supplements from the bottom all the way to the top that some well-intended, and here's my rub with you, Rowan, naturopathic doctor has put them on with good intention. But it's so obvious that this is way out of line and way overplayed. Do you know the picture I'm creating right now? Can you can you sort of pick this up? Do you see why I have a little bit of a bone to pick with you? Absolutely. I think we're going to have a good time with that one. <laughs> well, you're the guy, and your profession is the profession, God bless you all, that has decided to, without using drugs, you can correct a whole host of medical uh, problems based on proper supplementation and nutrition. It's a wonderful approach, and it certainly has all sorts of benefits over and above taking any pharmaceutical preparations in my opinion, and I'm the medical doctor here. Yet, what you end up creating, I'm not, necess- I'm not necessarily thinking that it's healthy to think that you need to take all that stuff. So why don't you take this conversation for a moment, the byline being, are you taking too many supplements? And with my shopping bag brigade in mind, how can you help them to come to an understanding that that's not necessary to what they're doing is completely overplayed. You know, when I uh, met Dr. Kiriak 12 years ago, I was taking myself uh, a small mountain of supplements. You you had a couple shopping bags yourself, didn't you? Uh, 23 or 25 different bottles. That was my last. All right. Situation. And I have a picture, and I still have all of those bottles, and I, I tell people I, I'm keeping them for the museum, what people used to do in the 90s, you know. I think it will pass this concept, or I hope it will. But anyhow, uh, each of those supplements was aimed at a particular prevention of a particular ailment for me or, or, or alleviating a particular pain. And that was my mindset as a naturopath. And even though the word naturopath means the path of nature, I've since come to my senses. And what helped me tremendously was that In my early career, I was more uh, inclined to use food and exercise, and I had traveled the world. I had met uh, diets from Asia, from India, Ayurvedic diet, etc. I had learned the art of fasting. That was more my inclination until I started to have my own little problems at the age of 40, 45, 50. 
with weight issues and energy and pain and so forth, I fell for the vitamin concept, uh, which unfortunately, this vitamin industry you know, has grown exponentially so fast because it has picked up, if you wish, the same marketing strategy that the drug companies, the, the pharmaceutical companies uh, have used, which is that of aiming a supplement each to an individual's physical symptom or complaint, and that you could resolve it with a, a particular pill, a pill for magnesium for insomnia, uh, a metal for the prostate, and uh, so forth, so on and so forth. That's very, very much the, what is called the allopathic model, which is the aiming uh, medication at a symptom rather than address the root of the problem, the root cause, which would be the more holistic, more natural that way. Well, amazingly, when I met Dr. Kiriak, a pure academic brain scientist, he was Mr. Natural. He was Mr. Holistic in that he shared with me that uh, about eight years into the research, as a cellular nutrition expert, as a PhD in cellular nutrition, he shared with me that he realized that all the pills in the world, all the medicines in the world, had been come close to the genius within. And he meant by that that the cells of our body are actual, are the medicine. The cells of our body, after all, let's recall, uh, grew us from two little cells to the giant that we are. And keep, uh, if you wish, building us, rebuilding us, rejuvenating us, and repairing us every day uh, to the tunes of billions of cells. And uh, he had he had mentioned in our conversation, and I use that often, he says, you know a doctor, Roland, you know a naturopath that can make a hair on your head? You know, he, he was very serious as a scientist. And he meant, he was really trying to explain to me that the medicine is our body in the first place. So that's all that we need, uh, rather than to address every symptom, is to let our body, give a chance to our body to repair and heal and grow. And uh, the example that you use at that time that we have documented now are that when he began uh, to research with uh, millions of poultry, for example, or thousands of cows or, or pigs, they were all at that time on some form of supplementation, these animals. For example, the chickens that are housed under uh, these housing facilities with no sunlight were given uh, calcium and other supplements in their diet. Otherwise, they would not um, survive, or they would not deliver the eggs or the milk, etc., because they had been removed from their natural habitat, you know, to eat the normal food on the planet, or the cow to eat the grass. So they were deficient in what he did in his research, what they did. They were able to stop the supplementation of the chicken, for example and rather to replace it with just the food, their feed, as well as this uh, extra food, this bio-algae consciousness, which then prevented the loss of bone, uh, bone uh, mass, as well as vitamin D deficiency, for example. That was completely eliminated, and the animals survived longer than normal, even. Even then in wilderness, they performed uh, I believe on the poultry farm, it was measured at 20% increase in their productivity, which was measured in economic factors, more eggs, survival of the newborn, uh, better meat, larger animals, longer life, uh, etc. More, more eggs per year, as many as 50 more eggs per year. So back to uh, my, my path, my discovery that my walking away from supplementation, if you wish, was as a result of my personal experience with taking so many and not getting results, because the reality, as much as the vitamin industry will have you take many, many supplements, there is no real solid evidence in studies even coming near to the what is asked for in the pharmaceutical industry.
In the pharmaceutical industry, the studies are long. They're half billion dollar studies. They're the amount uh, you will, will be taking thousands of witness or uh, people in the studies for five years, ten years, before you can prove uh, that a drug will do what you say it's going to do. While in the dietary su supplement industry, unfortunately, uh, maybe there are some benefits, of course, in some case, but there is no demand, there's no request to what you say. And you, you really, most supplements, uh, you would not be able to claim any of the claims uh, legally. Uh, let's say that there are some people that abuse by claiming too much, and once in a while they are stopped. But there's a lot of uh, a lot of freedom in America. Say things that are outrageous, and uh, as you as you know by now, as we know, so. Um, so that's that's one of the problem with uh, with supplements. There is no real research, solid evidence, and plus it doesn't address the root of the problem, which is as we age, we do uh, become broken, deficient, imbalanced in our endocrine, in our energy. That leads to the symptoms that we call deficiency or pain or arthritis, or then we start to name them. Uh, diabetes, and there's thousands of different, as you know, diagnoses now in the book. And there, some are coming out every day, the different the variants of cancer, there's what, thousand different cancers, et cetera, et cetera. And the concept of finding a drug or a supplement for each of those types of conditions is uh, quite futile, I believe, at least in, in the true objective of longevity, of living healthy with high energy happiness today, tomorrow, and for a long time. Uh, I believe that the path through there is to reduce supplementation gradually even to zero, and rather to increase your uh, assimilation and absorption of your daily food, which has to do with what food you and how you eat it, and how much you eat, and et cetera. You have to be, it's an art. I call it the martial art of wellness. You have to learn what food to eat so as to not cause, continue to cause the problem that led to uh, acidity in your body, that led to too much sugar, and led to uh, pre-diabetic condition, or diabetes, or plaque, or cholesterol, or cancer, and so forth. That's what I recommend, and otherwise I also suggest my clients, now that I've discovered this bioalgae concentrate, to take it as a, a comp I call it a complement, uh, rather than a supplement, because it is a food, so it's a complement to your diet, but it is an extremely efficient food. And as you know, the book that I wrote that describes the research and this food is called Awakening the Genius Within. And the reason for that is because this particular land of algae has a knack, has an ability, has an extraordinary efficiency to not only be assimilated in our blood and then distributed through our blood system throughout our body, and, and that's literally done in milliseconds once it's released after the liver, but also more abundantly, uh, if you wish, gram for gram or milligram for milligram than any other food on earth at this time, more abundantly crossed into the brain, through the blood, feed there the cells of the brain and particularly the cells of the hypothalamus, which is computer within, which is the brain within our brain, is what we call the Dr. Kiriak point, it's a genius within because this group of cells that make up this hypothalamus regulates billions and billions of biochemical transactions per, per minute because it really stimulates through the, uh, the, the hormones and through peptides and through the central nervous system, the lymphatic system, 
uh, it stimulates the biochemistry of every cell in the body. And I'll finish my long tirade here by describing. Well, one, um, you got me. Um, really, I'm, uh, I'm just uh, mesmerized by, by this story. But go ahead, finish it off. Well, I'll finish it with, you know, uh, uh, down to the cells. We are made of cells. We are made of hundreds of trillions of cells, and every cell is a, is a genius in the words of Dr. Kiriak. Let me let me explain visually what I mean by that. If you were to see an artist's rendition of a cell, it looks pretty complicated. It's got hundreds of little organelles in there and so forth. But the reality is that every cell in our body is more complex than the city of New York City and has more industries and it has more uh, or organelles or parts than there are people in New York City or in Pittsburgh for that matter. One cell in our body. So imagine when uh, the brain gets involved in stimulating the industry of those cells, then you've got billions and billions of supplementation. What do we need to supplement for? So I want to take people there. I want to people, take people to meditate, to think about that, that our body is a, is a supplementation uh, genius. We are constantly regulating, moderating, altering our temperature, our sugar, our acidity level, and supplementing enzymes, 100,000 variants of enzymes that are required, that are really enzymes are really protein enzymes are sort of similar. They're really made to grow our body or participate in repairing or regenerating ourselves or also altering, uh, for, for example, digestive enzymes to help us assimilate. Or vitamin D, how about that one? Vitamin D being a hormone which is created, synthesized by cells, specialized cells of our kidney, for example. Or insulin, which is made by specialized cells of our pancreas. And I could go on and on and on so that you understand that if you wanted to match that magic, you would have to take a supplement with every finger of your both hands every <laughs> millisecond of the day and you wouldn't even come close to what the pancreas does in an instant of assimilation. Now the products um, this, but the BioAge company is now famous for takes the Dr. Michael Kiriak um, um, formulation uh, and, and by the way, it's just, uh, don't get the idea this is mixed in some lab. This is still grown. This is a food. And I thought that you made that point quite nicely. This isn't a supplement. This is the ultimate of all foods, I guess. As such, it is jam-packed. It is a concentrate. And in the smallest quantity uh, that uh, you could ever imagine, this stuff packs a wallop that would take multiple shopping bags of any patients I happen to see, uh, your 23 supplements, my about eight or ten, I now take one. I guess you just take one now yourself, is that right? That's correct. I just take a compliment. I just take this blend of algae. It's been 12 years, Dennis, 12 years of simplicity. I remember, you know, labeling my bottle, taking six pot, uh, gels of salt palmetto daily, taking uh, three or four or five hundred milligrams of vitamin C, lycopene, at the time uh, in 1998 or something, alpha lipoic acid was the hot one. You know, we had made it, there were several books on alpha lipoic acid. Then selenium came as a formidable antioxidant. You know, uh, vitamin E was already in the market, but lycopene, orphotene, these, uh, these vitamins were coming out or, or antioxidants. And since then, as we all know, uh, many, many others that have come on the market have flared up, I call them as shooting stars, like resveratrol, like um, omega-3 has become very hot. And, and, you know, and vitamin D now is has exploded on the market. Everybody is jumping and wanting to take vitamin D. It's not going to end, people. You're going to be taking how many at this rate? Yeah, well put. We're so coming up to the end of the hour. I don't want to have this conversation get lost, although I could listen to you talk for, for hours more on, on what you just said. Let's allow uh, the listener to appreciate 
this product, how it comes, how it's purchasable. You you have um, three levels of a product, the F1, F2, F3. Uh, the F3 seems to be the most concentrated form. Um, describe the degrees of supplementation that the company BioAge allows. And I'm not going to use the word supplement. Complement. The complementary. Yes, the complementary. I've, I've cleaned my, my own vocabulary up. To allow people to not take so many when, in fact, if the, if the analogy you just gave a moment ago has any validity, there's never enough that you could take to try to, to meet your body's requirements. You can't do it on individual supplements. You better get a complement that contains them all and it is a food and is fully assimilable, and I'll let you take it from there. Uh, well put. Well, the process is, uh, as you said earlier, it's grown in, uh, in hydroponic, uh, very clean facility, protected from pollution, and we use as the soil this extraordinary uh, rich mineral content, uh, thermal spring water that comes from 2,000 feet below a volcanic peninsula. That's the process. It's, it's filtered, it is freeze-dried in a fine, uh, very, very protected dried powder, and then from there it's blended, that's a very specialized process, and then there uh, some of the algae, the four algae are grown uh, exceptionally with more concentration, they're using more light by uh, applying light more intensely to some of the algae in the product, it, it makes them more concentrated in antioxidant, for example, which is the, the, the red pigment that we find in tomatoes or carrots, the, the beta carotene, the orange pigment. And those uh, types of nutrients are critical. For example, the Cancer Society will tell us to eat a lot of, of, of colorful fruits and vegetables so we can get these types of phytonutrients and, and antioxidants. So at the end of the day, Dr. Theriac and the scientists over the years formulated three different grades. Let's call it grade. Uh, they call them formula one, two, three for simplicity. And the grade one is made to accommodate, uh, was made to accommodate really all, that's my dog. I was gonna say most animals. <laughs> my dog is chasing a rabbit here. Or attempting to, mm -hmm. and we're succeeding. And you get the window. Uh, formula One was the standard formula that was developed for the animals very successfully. But when it came to the, the more aggressive cancer in some of the species, they realized that they needed more uh, antioxidant power. So they started to include more red algae, which have more of these antioxidants, as well as increasing the light during the growth, during the nurturing, which resulted in a, a more red plant, which just like a tomato becomes red from exposure to the sun, the, the form of, of protection that's delivered to us human as a protection as well. And then when they began to work with humans, they realized that humans are more resistant to healing, to health than animals than most animals, because mostly because human, um, uh, I use the word, uh, well, I'll be nice here, because human don't, are less disciplined. We abuse more our food, our sugars, our Coca-Cola, and we're more stressed than animals. Animals are very disciplined. In nature, they're very wise, but even in large livestock industry, they're disciplined, they, they, they eat two meals a day and they all eat the same thing, etc., etc. So they in implemented this Formula 3. We have Formula 1, 2, 3 to address different degrees of need. Formula 1 is positioned for children, for teens, and also for uh, very aged adults that would be uh, more sensitive and that there's no need to apply a, a strength, uh, a powerful formula. Formula 2 is the core formula that's the middle way for teens, for athletes, for early uh, prevention of degenerative conditions like cholesterol or pre-diabetic conditions, loss of weight, metabolism, when you're starting to notice you're gaining weight, 
Uh, formula 2 is, is formidable for early menopausal, premenopausal, for early endocrine issues. You catch yourself before getting on to a thyroid medication or a cholesterol medication. You can catch yourself before by restoring brain health. Remember we said that it is brain food particularly, which when you increase nutrition to the brain, to the hypothalamus, in turn the hypothalamus kicks back, sort of comes back alive and starts to regulate again, for example, sugar level or mm -hmm. acidity level by increasing bile, by increasing the biochemistry, which uh, cleanses the detoxification act or work of every cell in the body. And the F3, I don't, I don't want to miss because we're going to come right after the golf quickly, the F3, the, the third formula. And then the F3, I call it uh, sometimes for fun, the Lamborghini. In other words, it's the <laughs> most efficient. It will get you there faster, but it has the most antioxidants, so it is the most, it supplies more antioxidants, which prevents uh, and may help shrink some tumors or prevents them from becoming a tumor in the first place. That's really where you want to be. But also will increase very much the energy, the energy of the brain, the energy of your cells, so you will have more breakdown, gradual breakdown or stopping of progress of plaque in your artery, right? That's a fundamental issue mm -hmm. in our brain, which leads to problems of memories and Alzheimer and so forth. The idea is prevention and protection uh, before you get into talking of, uh, about healing and, and, and curing. Okay. Doc, Dr. Roland Thomas, we have come to the end of the line. I'm glad we got the F3 in there. It is the top of the line. It is the Lamborghini. Uh, we do carry it. Uh, we've got the booklets. We've got the DVDs. We're going to have to say goodbye now. We'll set this up for next month. Maybe we can bring Dr. Michael Karyak back on board next month. What do you think? I would love to, and I will speak to him. And <laughs> when you schedule, uh, when you send me for a date, uh, I will then uh, approach him. Okay. Suggest the time, and we'll bring him on. All right. Get back to the dog and the rabbit. I'll see you then. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Dr. Roland Thomas talking about the uh, BAC from BioAge. We carry here in the office. We'll be seeing you on Wednesday talking about six steps to help you with back pain. Till then, Dr. Dennis Courtney with Dr. Roland Thomas saying so long for AM Impact on Your Health. Call 724-942-3002. That's 724-942-3002. For Dennis J. Corbin.